Your task is to create for us canapes, something in miniature, nine absolutely identical morsels. They can be sweet, they can be savoury, they can be classic, they can be adventurous. At the end of this, one of you will be going home. Technology consultant Sandy has excited the judges with her unique and daring fusion style. There's a lot of component for such a small canopy. My biggest concern would definitely be the flavour profile. It's nice to me, but they could absolutely love it or they would hate it. What's your party plate, please? Today I'm making basically a Brazilian cheesy pineapple bun. I'm going to pipe in some uh, celeriac mascarpone cheese with chashu pork and dust with a sorted duck egg yolk. Wow! Have you got time to do all of this? I'm taking the risk. Sandy's little morsel, I think it's very, very daring. Does cheese, pineapple and pork all work together? Maybe it does. Financial broker Thomas has a playful and modern approach to traditional British cuisine, which has proved a hit with the judges. The canapé one has been a crazy process of development. I kind of stuck true to myself. It's just taking classic flavours and just amplifying them. Hopefully, John and Greg see that and understand that. You do British classics. How do you get yes. that into a canopy? So I'm doing Earl Grey and malted milk mini eclairs with honeycomb and chocolate. Wow. Made your own shoe pastry? Made my own shoe pastry. So it's got like the little biscuit top to the shoe pastry too, which is the malted milk element. And then I've got an Earl Grey creme diplomat inside the eclairs and some honeycomb. Will it be like dunking a chocolate biscuit in a cup of milky tea? Basically, yeah. That's pretty much bang on what it'd be like, hopefully. I do like this, my friend. You've made me smile. Brilliant. Thomas's little eclairs, they are tiny. I hope there's enough Earl Grey cream diplomat inside that it tastes of tea. Stop! That's it, stop. Thank you. Three, six, nine. It was nine, wasn't it? Sandy, could you please? Sandy's canapés are a Brazilian parmesan bun filled with celeriac and mascarpone, topped with Chinese char siu pork, charred pineapple, and salted duck egg yolk. I think they look fantastic. Your pork is wonderful and soft. Your pineapple is sweet, and the salty duck egg yolk across the top adds salt to the whole thing. It is fabulous. Thank you. Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> it's very brave. Cheese, pork, pineapple, egg yolk. But I suppose then we go canapes, we think ham, cheese, and pineapple. Been hand around party for years. They are super yummy. That pork is really tender. The buns are denser than a Yorkshire pudding. They are delightful. I'm really pleased. Comments are super positive. They loved it, uh, which is great. Yeah. Thomas's canapes are a play on tea and biscuits, a malted milk flavored eclair filled with an Earl Grey creme diplomat topped with honeycomb and chocolate. Inside that shoe pastry, which is lovely, is a beautiful cream flavoured with Earl Grey tea. And I love that crunchy biscuity top. That is a marvellous little eclair that tastes of tea and biscuits. Honeycomb's fantastic. Your chocolate works really, really good. I think your ambition's wonderful. It's delicious. <laughs> I'm feeling all right. I was happy with it. I think they got it and they enjoyed the flavours of tea and biscuits that were in there.